Well, it has been a minute since I have been on here doing cruise news because I have been on the road or on the sea so much. But there is so much to talk about today in terms of cruise news, and I had to hop on here. Massive news coming from Disney about a huge protocol change that could really change up your vacation plans this winter. And Celebrity's newest ship, not the Beyond, the one after the Beyond, the Beyond of the Beyond. <laughs> we now know its name. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today. If this is your first time watching, my name is Jordan and this is JJ Cruz. We are a YouTube channel all about the obsession that is cruising. We just got off of 16 cruise ships um, since the beginning of the restart in June and we have a ton of content out there. If you are a passionate cruiser like us, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. Those are the best ways that you can support the channel. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do want to hear your thoughts in the comments today because this is a little bit of a controversial topic and I have been kind of, you know, peeking around the Facebook today, looking at what people are saying about this topic. And let me just tell you, it's hot. <laughs> the tea is hot. So I wanted to come on and, and chat about it with all of you. Disney Cruise Line is coming in the papers this morning, or the form of my Google News, um, letting us all know that they have made a major change to their vaccine policy starting in January. Now, starting January 3rd, 2022, Disney is going to begin requiring vaccines for ages five and up. Now, what does this mean? This means that anyone ages five and up without exception must be fully vaccinated according to the CDC. And of course, we know that the CDC defines fully vaccinated as one of a single dose shot or two of a double dose shot at least 14 days before the sale date. Now, January 13th is less than 60 days away, which means your kid has to get vaccinated pretty much within this calendar year. They have to get vaccinated probably before the holidays. Now, I decided to go on Facebook and look and see what people were saying, and I probably should not have done that because it is a war out there. It's a war zone. Um, we have some some keyboard <laughs> some keyboard warriors behind their screens um, putting out a lot of hate for Disney Cruise Line today. You know, vaccines have been controversial this entire year. Um, there's obviously a group of people that are not cruising right now because they have not gotten vaccines and they do do not have any interest in getting a vaccine. Well, now. The cruise lines are saying, not only you have to be vaccinated, but your kids have to be vaccinated as well. Lots and lots of people saying, I will never cruise with Disney Cruise Line again. I will, you know, I'm canceling all of my trips with Disney the rest of this year. I was going to go to Disney World, but because, you know, Disney's in the name, I'm not going anymore. Lots and lots of controversy. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I'm going to break some news to you about my thoughts here, and I think this is really only the beginning. Um, I think other cruise lines are going to follow suit very quickly. I think we're probably going to see this come from Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and Norwegian really, really fast. Um, you know, some of the other cruise lines where kids really have not been cruising, such as Celebrity Cruises, I don't think that Celebrity Princess, your Holland Americas are going to necessarily have um, as much of a problem with this. However... I know that Holland America is letting kids cruise for free now, so who knows? Maybe people will take their Disney money and they'll go over to Holland America since it's similar pricing. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel in my gut that this is probably the first of the cruise lines that are going to start doing this. Um, you know that Norwegian is already 100% vaccinated. They, they definitely will be rolling out a lot more protocols, I think, in the new year. Um, and I really think Royal Caribbean and Carnival are going to follow suit. Uh, keep in mind, the cruise lines do have your best safety in mind. Um, the cruise lines are trying to do the right thing. They're trying to do right by the CDC and the government. And they're trying to do right by you as their customer. Because the last thing that a cruise line needs or can, can take right now is another sucker punch to the gut. Where they have a ship with an outbreak or a bunch of sick kids on board. Um, and then they have to quarantine the entire ship or they have to shut down cruises and cancel cruises. The cruise lines just cannot take that anymore. And I honestly think, 
I don't think this is going away anytime soon. You know, I saw the question posed a lot on Facebook this morning. When is this going to end? You know, when are we going to be able to cruise again? When are vaccine mandates going to go away? I don't think they're going to go away for a long, long time. So, you know, I've said this before. If, if that is the camp that you have pitched your tent in, that you are not going to cruise as long as there are vaccine mandates, then then that's fine. Go and vacation elsewhere. There are plenty of other vacation um, options. But I'm curious because I saw so much negative feedback about this Disney vaccine mandate that I want to hear from you in the comments because I want to know, is this the majority of, of what people are thinking? Are they angry? Are we upset by this? Or are those, you know, just the few really, really noisy people on Facebook that are getting in front of it and making their pe those people heard or making their comments heard? Um, that's what I really am trying to figure out this morning. Um, I know how I feel about this. Again, I am fully vaccinated. I have been on many cruises this year. Um, I have many more cruises to, to go on. So I will continue to keep up with whatever mandates are coming out um, so that I can keep cruising because cruising is a valuable tool to see the world for me and for Jared. Um, but again, please let me know what you all are thinking out there. Okay, let's move on to this other piece of news, which is so exciting. Uh, if you don't know, and if you're new to our channel, we love celebrity cruises. Um, Jared and I have been on multiple celebrity cruise ships this year. Celebrity Edge was probably our favorite cruise of the year. We are not booked on Beyond, which of course you've got Edge, then Apex. Beyond is coming out in April. Um, and now we have their newest cruise ship coming out, the Celebrity Ascent. This will be the fourth ship in the Edge Class series. Um, these Edge Class ships are honestly game changers for the industry. And I was not expecting to wake up this morning and hear about Celebrity's newest ship being announced. Um, so Celebrity Ascent will sail out in 2023. This is number four out of five planned Edge Series ships, the fifth one coming in 2025. Um, we could not be more excited to see what's going to, to happen on this ship. You know, it feels like with a lot of the ships, every time they roll out a new one in this series, they're making improvements, they're making changes, they're listening to their customers in terms of what they want to see and how they would like it to be different. And the beyond already, some of the changes are just so exciting. So I cannot wait to find out more about the Ascent. Now, why did they make this announcement today? They made this announcement today because today the steel was officially cut. Um, so there was a great picture that came out with the news release with Richard Fain um, holding a big piece of steel. It said Celebrity Ascent 2023 on it. We could not be more excited for the Celebrity family. And you know that JJ Cruz will be on that ship once it's out. Um, are you a Celebrity fan? Also, let me know in the comments. I want to hear, you know, how, how excited are you about this new Celebrity Ascent? Sent ship. I really can't wait to hear more, more commentary and more information. Like I said, I think Celebrity's been really smart with the, these ships. They've been listening to their customer base and making changes um, with each new ship that they roll out. Not every cruise line does this. Uh, we were just on Virgin, and you know, Virgin ordered three ships and had three ships built almost identically uh, without really listening to customers or having an understanding of what their customer base would like because their ships hadn't even sailed yet. So I think Celebrity is super smart in what they do, how they do these ships. I can't wait to sail on it. I can't wait to find out a little bit more information about it. We will bring you more information as we hear it. I'm hoping to get a little bit back into the cruise news jive here. Like I said, we've been on so many cruise ships since June. Um, and it's time. It's time to it's time to get a little bit more back into these daily videos. So maybe after the holidays, we can uh, we can do something like this. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone that has subscribed, liked. Thank you for all the JJ Cruz love. Um, we are trying to hit twenty thousand subscribers by Christmas. We are this close. So if you're on the edge of hitting that subscribe button, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> it's a free way to support the channel, and we love you for it. Thank you so much to everyone who watched. And until next time, see ya.